Welcome back, everybody, to the Denver Broncos franchise and the AFC Championship. As the Broncos take on the AFC's top seed, the Jacksonville Jaguars, who went 13-3 this year and put together a much more consistent year than our Broncos. We might not have finished the season the way we wanted to, but we were prepared for our first playoff game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. It was one of the best games we've played all season. Taquan Layton was outstanding, and the team overall really gelled like they haven't in weeks. Now we meet the Jacksonville Jaguars, who have another challenge ready for us. One big injury for them, they are going to miss their third corner, Kyle Bowers, which means rookie Richard Armstead will start. And that's pretty key because the other corners are Jalen Ramsey and Marcus Peters. I don't know how many times you want to test those two. The Jaguars also had a very convincing division round victory. They won against the Colts by 18 points. This team plays with kind of an old school mentality. They are the third ranked rushing offense and they just play really solid defense. And that's usually the blueprint that works best for us. When we run the football well and we play at least average defense, we're tough to beat. We had a great day rushing against the Steelers. That's obviously something we want to try establishing again. But Taquan Layton threw the ball extremely well. And if we see that Taquan Layton today, we could be advancing to our first Super Bowl of the series. We're ready to go, everybody. AFC Championship action from Jacksonville. And here we go. Rory Halet Swinton gets us underway. And the Jaguars will have it first. Aiden Spithill on the return across the 25 and stopped. As the Jaguar offense comes out, led by quarterback Mitchell Trubisky. It was a bit surprising to see him leave Chicago and get a big deal from the Jaguars, but it has absolutely worked out. Trubisky has elevated his play. He limits turnovers, and there's a lot of talent around him. Trubisky starts in the air on first down, and this is a catch and a gain of 11 for Kiki QT. Now, this Jaguar offense has been comprised primarily of free agents at a variety of spots. Both starting guards, tight end Noah Fant, Derek Henry's here as well. It's a pretty deep running game here for Jacksonville. And they'll head to Aiden Spithill now. And he is down and appears to be in some pain here as he'll come off the field. And that sets up third down. Jacksonville from their own 43. Trubisky rolling into pressure and he's forced to throw it away. And the Broncos start their day forcing the stop. When this offense clicks, they are so much fun to watch. They have a scheme where when everything works together, they feel unstoppable. But we've seen a lot of games this year where they just can't get anything going. Who do we see today out of the Denver offense? Starting at the 20 in the air, Leighton has time and throws across the middle. Incomplete for Marion Peppers, who was covered by Ja'Cory Blackwell, one of the young stars on this defense. Second down for Layton. Pass caught by Dalton Schultz, the tight end. Up to the 26-yard line, setting up a third down. Pepper's still in the game. Four-man rush. Can't get near Layton, and he's on target again. Schultz with the first down catch at the 39. Pepper's getting the snaps here on the opening drive, and now a flip to the outside head. Samuel, and that was great pursuit. A lot of speed on this defense, and Samuel didn't get much. Here is the Jaguar defense. Josh Allen and Solomon Thomas, two good edge rushers. Brett Messier, remember when he was drafted? The Jaguars play him at linebacker alongside Ja'Cory Blackwell. And this secondary is rock solid with Jalen Ramsey. Still a career Jaguar. Third and four, blitz on the way. And the throw across the middle. Wide open is Curtis Samuel across midfield. First down. Motion now, and that's Deion Price. Pressure inside, down goes Taquan Layton. It's Taven Bryan. You got to protect Layton, and these are the kind of plays that you just have to avoid. He splits the double team. Peppers isn't ready. That's just a huge lapse in protection. That's not on Layton. Third down and 15, a little shoulder fake. Layton now chased outside, just throws it away. And the Jaguars, after allowing a couple first downs, are able to recover for the stop. 
Colby Wadman boots this away. We'll let it go inside the 10. McKinney down there to stop it at the two yard line. Jaguars start this drive backed up near their own end zone and they'll keep it on the ground here inside for about six yards. Just trying to create some room here. Trubisky back to the air, protected now. And a perfect strike, he's got his man near the 30 yard line. And that gives this Jacksonville offense plenty of room to work with. They go with a trips look here. It is a third and 10 and Trubisky throws behind his receiver. And that will end this Jaguars drive. But at least not having to punt out of their own end zone. Starting at the 20 here, a fake, and Leighton connects again with Curtis Samuel for a gain of seven. A five of seven start for Taquan Leighton. Here's third and three. Again, the ball out quickly, caught by Samuel. Well-timed throw there between defenders, another first down. Out of the eye now, and here's Jennings bending this run back to the right side. He'll pick up around seven. Jason King leads the way. Jennings heads outside. He's got the first down across midfield and finishes tough to the 45 of Jacksonville. They really want to get him going again. Peppers back in the game now. Second down for Layton. And finds Hopkins now underneath for a short pickup, maybe five yards. A bit more pass heavy to start than I expected. Third and five. Again, time to throw. And wide open. It's cut by Dalton Schultz. A gain of 19 yards, and the Broncos driving. Just outside the red zone here at the first quarter, winding down. Leighton pumps, now buying time. Outside the pocket, and the ball comes out, and Jacksonville appears to have it. Another Leighton fumble, and that's been an issue throughout his career. He was rolling outside the pocket, trying to get to Hopkins, and here's the hit from behind he did not see. And the Jaguars take over. That's a big turnover. Still scoreless here in the first quarter. Trubisky on the outside connects, and that's going to be enough for a Jaguar first down. Offset backfield for the Jaguars as they begin the second quarter. Play fake for Trubisky, and he airs it out, and there's Noah Fant, who spent the beginning of his career in Denver and then left in free agency. There's a gain of 27. At the 35-yard line. Again, the fake. Trubisky, time to throw, and that's knocked down and nearly picked off. Miles Jack got a hand on it. Trying to score the game's first points, and the kicker here in Jacksonville, Harrison Butker. And the kick from 52 yards out is good, and the Jaguars score first. Denver takes over at their own 34. Again, Marion Peppers getting a lot of snaps here early. Pressure picked up, and Hopkins makes a tough catch. He will see a lot of Jalen Ramsey and do not expect much separation. Third down and in inches. They go to Jennings, and he will get it, but not much more than the necessary yardage. Hopkins, the motion man now, getting him away from Ramsey. Rolling right, back across the middle. That's hauled in by Jason King, the fullback. The rookies had a really great season. He should be in Rookie of the Year discussion, honestly. At the 39 of Jacksonville, Layton's protected. Takes a shot now, single coverage, and Hopkins brings it down at the one. Singled up with Ramsey, we're still going to take a couple chances. We've seen this over the years. He's met Byron Jones and been victorious in those matchups. That's a great job of just boxing out Ramsey and keeping him away from the ball. First and goal. Jennings hitting the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Josh Allen. Three tight ends and the single receiver is Hopkins. Late in the pass. Back of the end zone. Touchdown! Rookie Levi Summers. And the Broncos pull ahead. Summers with a good route here in the back of the end zone. He has not played much as a rookie, but perhaps a sign of things to come. Broncos on top, 7-3. And the Jaguars start with a jet sweep. And the Broncos are all over it. Charles stops QT. Third and 10 for Jacksonville. Pressure on the way. Picked up. Everyone's deep. Trubisky in trouble. He's sacked by Christian Baxter at the 14-yard line. 
This Bronco defense is playing pretty well on the first half. Under six to go now in the second quarter as Peppers carries and is taken down by Jalen Ramsey. High formation again behind Layton. Here's Jennings inside and that is stuffed. He did not get it. Messier in on the stop along with Blackwell. He'll go for it now, hurrying up as well, snapping quickly, and Jennings is hit in the backfield and stopped. Great penetration by Jacksonville, and that is a massive play that swings field position as well. Jaguars take over now near midfield. Trubisky dumps off, and this will be a first down inside the Denver 40-yard line. Three and a half minutes to go now for the Jaguars. And this is outside quick. Trying to get an opening. What a hit. Down goes QT. Third and six now on the edge of field goal range. Trubisky's got the time. Has a man open. And it's a touchdown. Jacksonville answers. It's DD Westbrook. And he is shaken up on the play. They get kind of a pick play here with Slay slowing down, running into Darnell Savage, and Slay no longer has that makeup speed. It is now 10-7 Jacksonville, but here's a wide open DeAndre Hopkins that's always got to catch your attention, and the Broncos quickly make their way to midfield. Under two minutes to go here in the first half, clock running. Leighton, time running out quickly, and he is sacked by Solomon Thomas. That was an impressive play. And that's his second today. Backed up a long way, third and 20. Dion Price in the slot. Leighton, time is running out again. He is set now by Josh Allen. That's back-to-back -back plays. And the Jaguars use a timeout. Jaguars spread the defense with 59 seconds left. Trubisky takes a shot down the middle, and it's caught in Denver territory! A perfect throw from Mitchell Trubisky as they split the safeties. It's the young speedster, LaVon Dickerson. A 47-yard catch. Back in scoring position now. Trubisky on first down. On the outside, intercepted. It's Damian Charles. And the door is slammed shut on this scoring chance for the Jaguars. What a half. Hard-fought football today. These defenses are making some impressive plays. I think we have a game here going down to the wire. Winner advancing to the Super Bowl. In the NFC, Chicago takes on New Orleans. A great matchup between two really solid up-and-coming teams. And that game will be played after this one. So nobody knows who's advancing to the Super Bowl yet. Halfway home here in Jacksonville, 10-7 Jaguars with a great run by Marion Peppers to start this drive. We did not see a lot of dominant running out of either team in the first half. Third and three now, and here's an aggressive shot and double coverage, and Leighton overthrew Deion Price. And that is a quick way to start the second half, a three and out. Jaguars playing with a three-point lead as Trubisky has been pretty pass-heavy. Dumps this off, and about eight yards here on the reception. And now Geis looks shaken up. He will exit the game. Spithill is also out, so Derrick Henry is basically their last running back. Imagine that, Derrick Henry as your third back. Six yards here. Two tight ends on the field. Trubisky to the right, complete. Noah Fant trying to fight for extra yardage, and he'll get about six. Trubisky, 11 for 15 on the day. Jaguars love their play action passes. A deep shot, Trubisky connects with Fant again. At the Denver 35. That pushes Trubisky over 200 yards in the air. From the 35 running here, Henry's upended. Nice hit by Akinjide, who is really settling into this linebacker role. Jacksonville backs up after a holding call. Third and 15 now, and that's up for grabs and could have been a big mess for Jacksonville. It's fourth down. Not much scoring going on today. 10-7 with the Broncos taking over at their nine. Great protection, and that's knocked away from Dalton Schultz. Ja'Cory Blackwell. Two receivers on the right side here on third down, and watch out. Leighton is sacked again by Josh Allen. 
and nobody accounted for him. Big laps in protection here on the right side. A double team. Proctor needs to uh, realize when there's an unblocked defender about to hit the quarterback. 10-7, Jaguars take over, and they'll get this outside here. Henry runs over McKinney, out in the open field. Now he breaks another tackle. That's just classic Derrick Henry right there. What a run. Usually you want to get north and south with a running back like Henry, but outside he's even more dangerous. And now just runs through the middle for about seven more. Empty set here on second down. Henry in the slot. Trubisky on the outside. Catch made. First down. Jacksonville inside the 20 again. Looking to extend this lead here in the third quarter. Trubisky. Knocked down. Jamari Akinjide. Henry the back here as the Broncos keep the box stacked. Trubisky under pressure. And he's going down. There's Boogie Turner. Finally, some rush inside, and the Jaguars will bring out the field goal team. This is a 47-yard try. Harrison Butker right down the middle, and it's 13-7. Jaguars on top. So this has not been the same offensive performance, but I still think Leighton is playing well. There was the key turnover, but they really have not been able to drive like they did against the Steelers. And there's Shakori Blackwell once again. He does it all. Third tackle for a loss. The running game is just not the same either. Off play action now. Layton with time. Lobs it out. And there's Samuel. What a throw. That is the definition of throwing your receiver open. That's the accuracy we want to see. First and 10 now, time again, another deep shot, and Marcus Peters makes the interception! What a catch along the sideline! Singled up now with Hopkins, and he just aware of the sideline, knows what he has to do. Amazing play. Jacksonville takes over, up six. Here's Trubisky off play action, and he's intercepted! It's Jamari Akinjide inside the 10! Touchdown! Denver with the answer, and they'll take the lead! The biggest play in the career of Jamari Akinjide, and maybe this is where he's best. As a linebacker, he has absolutely become one of our most impactful players in these two playoff games. There's no doubt about it. And the Denver Broncos now lead. An absolute game changer by Jamari Akinjide. And the Jaguars now trail. And they start with a QT screen. Third and short, more play action. Trubisky sets, rolls left, and he's taken down by Bradley Chubb at the 25 yard line. Big stop after the interception, and now this offense can play with a lead. Third quarter winding down, Leighton across the middle, and almost picked, looking for Samuel. Denver would love to build this lead up a little bit. Big third and seven now. Leighton's got the time, fires again, and is nearly picked. Blackwell had it, and really should have caught it. Still a one-point game to begin this fourth quarter. Who's advancing to the Super Bowl this year? Here's Trubisky, wide open, first down. They had a couple steps on Akinjide that time. Out to the 34. Stacking the box again. And here's a ball launched downfield and leaping to make the catch at the 40. There's Dickerson once again. His speed is absolutely making a difference, especially without D.D. Westbrook. Fake to Henry. Pretty good coverage down the field. Here's a shot into coverage. It's incomplete. McKinney, step for step. Huge third down now. Jaguars need the 30-yard line. Trubisky, time runs out again, and he's set by Boogie Turner. What a season he's put together. One of the most historic pass rushing seasons in NFL history. He's not finished. Inside here, Marion Peppers grasps the football. The Jaguars are trying to take it. At the 30 yard line to the air, Leighton throws complete. Samuel with the catch across the 40 yard line. First down. Still a lot of time left on the clock. First and 10 for Denver. 
Leighton lets it develop again, takes his shot, and Hopkins is interfered with by Jalen Ramsey. I wonder what Cowboy fans think about that one. At the 25, a fake. Leighton outside the pocket now with room to run, and he's just going to take it and head out of bounds after a gain of eight. Big third down, Vashawn Wright checks in. He caught a touchdown last week. Leighton needs three, and he's hit down again. Great coverage by Jacksonville, and that's the third for Solomon Thomas. A field goal makes this a 17-13 game. Jacksonville under eight minutes to go. Here's Trubisky off balance and wide open again. LaVon Dickerson having himself quite the day. Well over 100 yards, and I'm pretty sure everything has been at least 20 yards downfield. Seven minutes on the clock. Trubisky spins, resets again. He's set by Chubb. Second for Bradley Chubb. And I can't believe how the Jaguars have abandoned this running game really out of nowhere for no reason. Second and 20, and Trubisky gets it away. A flag is down, so this will not count, and it'll now be second down and 30. A long way to go. It's third and 28. They spread the defense out. Trubisky takes his shot, and that's caught by Noah Fant. He got it. Every yard necessary. One more time, he's matched up with JT Granger, the rookie corner, and this throw barely got to the spot. First down, Jaguars, five minutes left. Trubisky again spinning into trouble, and he's sacked by Eric Palmer. This is some of the best pass rushing we've done in a long time. At the 50, second down, sacked again! Eric Palmer, his second! And once again, we have forced a long, long third down for Jacksonville. Defense backs off, Trubisky needs 29 and is forced to throw this away. And they will not go for it here, needing 29 yards. Here's a shot to put the game away, four minutes to go. Leighton starts, steps up, and there's no one there for Jacksonville. Across the 40, still going. 30 yards for Taquan Leighton out at midfield. He actually would have been better off just sliding there and giving up a couple yards as Jennings goes nowhere and hasn't all day long. They sub in Anthony Hampton now and get his speed outside. He's met, and that ball is ripped out, and Jacksonville will take over. Jalen Ramsey forced the fumble, and Josh Allen scoops it up. Hampton, who has been so reliable this year, just did not secure the ball. Jacksonville gets another shot. Under three minutes to go, and the Super Bowl is on the line. Derrick Henry to Trubisky's right. First down on the outside, and all alone is Fant. First down at the 29. The big revenge game opportunity for Fant, and it's paying off. Trubisky in trouble again. Now he's sacked by Von Miller. There has been so much pressure on Trubisky here late. That sets up third down. Outside here, Henry turns up, and he has enough. Inside the 20 inside two minutes here's Trubisky in the shotgun again dumped off Henry tries the left side and there's Savage on the big open field stop and Denver will now use a timeout so they want time regardless of what Jacksonville does here especially if they score third down Trubisky resets and finds Henry again but Akinjide stops him shy of the sticks and Denver will use another timeout. Super Bowl on the line, it's fourth and inches. Trubisky back to the air, and that's knocked down by Xavier Watts! Jacksonville turns it over on downs, and the Broncos are a first down from the Super Bowl. Jamari Akinjide and Xavier Watts playing new roles are making the big plays. Here's Donovan Jennings, a hard cut to the right side. He'll pick up seven. Jacksonville calls a timeout. Two tight ends, stretch. Jennings on the outside, runs over a defender and runs the Broncos to an AFC title. 
that is going to do it. I'll see you in the Super Bowl at last with this team. The Denver Broncos win 17-13, and what a win it was. One they really had to grind and earn. What a fantastic football game that was. That was a lot of fun. One of the most intense, evenly matched games. And of course, the play of the day has to absolutely be Jamari Akinjide's pick six. Unbelievable what he's done at linebacker, and I don't think he'll be leaving that role. In the Super Bowl, we will meet the Chicago Bears. They defeat New Orleans 22-19, which means our first Super Bowl matchup of the series will be against one of the first quarterbacks we had at the very beginning. Drew Locke did not pan out with us. We traded him to Chicago, and he has been successful, and now has a shot at a ring against us. We have a great matchup in store, everybody, and finally, we have made it to the Super Bowl for the first time in this series. We made it to the AFC title game last year, but came up short. We do get the job done this time, and here is the last challenge in front of us. Chicago is a very defensive football team. They have a lot of star power there with Eddie Jackson, Khalil Mack, and other playmakers at all three levels. I think if we play a solid defensive game against Drew Locke and Tariq Cohen, we have a very good chance of keeping this low scoring and grinding out a win. I would not expect a lot of points in this game either. I think it'll play similarly to the game today. Although I think that today could have seen a lot more points if teams had capitalized better on their opportunities. I was actually quite impressed with a lot of what Trubisky did, or maybe it's his playmakers on some of those deep balls, but he threw a nice deep ball today and they just kept coming down with him. Fant had the big one, Dickerson... We're just lucky it didn't lead to more points. And outside of those big plays, they just didn't have the consistency and didn't run the ball enough. If they run the ball more in that fourth quarter, even losing with Derrick Henry, it could be a different result. But they kind of played right into our hands, and that's when our pass rush really took it up to a new level. What a fun episode, though, everybody. Can't wait to see your feedback on this one. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and coming next, at last, Super Bowl in the Denver Broncos franchise. Have a great day.